The inaugural Wrangle Mania as we continue with our high school all-star bouts before our final set of collegiate bouts here as we bring you the action from Memorial Gym. P.J. Duke, LaDorian Lackett, Sean Kenny alongside Willie Saylor and Willie, a couple of Super 32 champions colliding here. It's an amazing matchup. Catch weight, so to speak. The weight was 152 pounds. These guys both won Fargo. They both won Super 32. P.J. Duke was at 138 for that. LaDarian Lockett at 152. We said, hey, we're going to have some all-star matches at Wrangle Mania. P.J., who'd you like to see? He said, I want LaDarian Lockett. Called up LaDarian. Absolutely, let's go. There they are, the number one and number two ranked prospects on my big board for the class of 2025, the best sophomores in the country meeting at a catch weight. It's been a great day of wrestling here in Bethlehem, the Wrangle Mania event, the inaugural. One more set of duels coming up. Chance for some of the best in the country, especially the young stars like these two sophomores. Duking it out, a rare chance for Lockett and P.J. Duke. Working off the two-on-one, nothing there. Lockett from Stillwater High School in Oklahoma. His father wrestled at Oklahoma State. and Not a foregone conclusion, but it might be a foregone conclusion that he will go to Oklahoma State. Won't wander too far from home. <laughs> he works out in their room, in their club room often. It's a pretty good week for Oklahoma State, speaking of recruiting and what they were able to sign. Yeah, they signed uh, the number one pound-for-pound -pound wrestler in the class of 2023, Christian Carroll, a heavyweight from Elkhart, Indiana. P.J. Duke pretty much has his pick of any choice in America that he wants to go to. Won Ironman last year as a... Incoming freshman won it this year again as a sophomore, and our first point is on the board. 1-0 for Lockett. Not much going on in the first period. There was a, a couple different looks given by each guy. Duke tried to work some tie stuff. Ladarian changed levels, was wrestling from a low stance. There's a low shot. And Duke... Perhaps as, anybody, as good as anybody in the country and certainly the best in the sophomore class at sort of chain wrestling, going from ties to shots to when they react to move into a different, a different attack. And it's just something that you don't see develop that early often. Lockett's escape has been it so far, one nothing lead. Here in the second period, not quite halfway through period two. It's a long way off, too, but in next April's Cadet World Team Trials, there's a limp arm by Lockett, who has an angle. Best scoring opportunity for Lockett. Can he finish near the edge? And you see some of the upper body strength from P.J. Duke that has so many people excited. Yeah. And, but at next year's World Team Trials in April, these will be the favorites to win 65 kilograms and 71 kilograms, respectively. Duke, for a long time, really tied to the NC State Wolfpack program. He's worked out a lot with Mike Machiavello. So that adds an additional angle to this matchup. Toe was still in bounds. Boy, how about that work by P.J. Duke? little toe drag there on the edge just to keep that right toe in as he was able to secure the takedown and get his first lead. He was behind both arms, had a foot in bounds. I guess there's challenges in this match. You saw his father, Jasper, lock it. Look for it. There's Jasper and Zoe here, uh, his club coach. They work together nonstop. 
but they're going to go to a challenge. I think the referee is asking <laughs> right now if there even is a challenge, but why not challenge it uh, if you want? But um, I think the question might have been if there was any point, any foot or body part touching the co- the, the uh, hardwood, the hard court. Yeah, because then it becomes automatically out of bounds. So yeah, that's what they're going to take another look at. High schoolers not used to getting the uh, the the replay, but that's what they're right. going to get in this situation. Well, I, I think yep. for high level matches like this, and especially a one off, make sure you get it right, you know. Um, but Ladarian, like I said, really tied to the OSU program. PJ Duke has connections to the NC State program. Pat Papalizio there. Uh, Native New Yorker, he pulls a ton of talent from New York. And PJ Duke's been down to that campus a million times. Another connection PJ Duke is thought to have his teammate at Minnesink Valley, Zach Ryder, who was Cadet World Bronze this fall, he committed to Penn State. So there's two connections, however solid or. And you know that, that that's a good point with Papa Lizio. He that that Northeast has become really a, a really strong ground for the trip down to Raleigh and NC State. What they have been able to do, stretching yep. into Danbury, and then you go into New York State. Yes, he's got a lot of guys from the Northeast. His and, ties from Binghamton and all paying off. Part of the resurgence and what NC State has been able to do. So the call stands. They give Duke the two after they took multiple looks at it. You'll see a lot of energy from Lockett, and he gets away. I love to see that after a call doesn't go your way, you come right out, burst of energy, yeah. and he gets the point. Yeah, that's a sort of a sign of maturity too, right? You don't get down on yourself too much. You know you need that point to get it back and get it manageable. Duke will take bottom. And – Ladarian looks to his corner, asks, should I ride him? Should I try to turn? Should I cut him loose? And, you know, I think it sets up, Sean, although it's been kind of cautious to this point, I think it sets up for a good finish because Darian's not one to sit back. If he's trailing, he's going to push for the attack uh, when we get to neutral. I I assume we're going to get to neutral because uh, PJ's good on bottom. Lockett trying to stay wrapped on him as the two wrestlers go out. Still tied at two. Fresh start in the center for P.J. Duke. Both these guys were at Ironman last year, and P.J. Duke was at 138, and Ladarian was at 152, and nobody wins Ironman as a freshman at those weights. It never happens. Well, Ladarian won, and P.J. took second, got injured in the finals, and – it's just another accolade, another feather in their cap for how good they are at such a young age. Elite talent, just a pair of sophomores, and we're heading down to the wire. And the question becomes with Lockett in the corner, if you don't think you can get a turn here, there's going to come a point where you're just going to cut them and try to get that takedown, which you're going to need to win anyway. So we'll right. see when that time comes. Oh, look at this by P.J. Duke as he gets the reversal. Well, Duke was a little aggressive on top of that forward pressure, but if he gets an escape here, it's still the same situation. Duke will be leading by one. So that being said, Ladarian wants to get out as soon as possible. Give him enough time to work on top or work from neutral. Lockett looking for the switch as he tried to pop around to the side. Duke's going to really bunker down on the left leg. Lockett trying to get his... Hands and grip in between the crotch to maybe thrust and lift. Lockett keeps looking at the ref saying, have I done enough? Am I in the right position? 40 seconds, you're going to stalemate it. Well, our three high school all-star bouts have, I say, lived up to the building today. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. This is coming down to the wire. Our first one between Gallagher and Gibson went into overtime. The middle one with Evanitsky and Rivera ended up in a back and forth and then a fall. 
So here we go. Lockett knew probably starting this third period he was going to need a takedown to win, and he is exactly in that predicament right here. B.J. Duke trying to bunker down a one-point lead, 26 seconds to go. What will Lockett's go-to be here? And it's probably he's probably going to have to start sprinting because it's not you got to you got to put a couple things together to take down PJ. As the underhook, look for the trip. Both get caught in a body lock, and it's Duke, who I've been impressed with his upper body strength. No points awarded here, but precious time winning off. And the two wrestlers disengage, and we go back to the center. Twelve ticks left. Time for one more real clean shot for Lockett. Duke backpedaling a little bit, steering him away with the hand. Lockett with a half-hearted shot, and that's going to be it. P.J. Duke, 4-3, to three, your winner here in our high school all-star feature bout. The top two prospects in the class of 2025 goes to P.J. Duke, 4-3. to three. Impressive. The only take down the bout, did a good bit of riding. And that does it for the high school stuff. We will go to the main 